Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do a tutorial on these eyes right here. It seems very crazy, but one of my new subscribers, I think you pronounce it Tioki, Tuki, I have no idea. But hopefully I pronounced right, but I'm going to put her link in the sidebar on this side. Um, yeah, she's one of my new subscribers, she and she requested an um, clubbing look that is an extreme, excuse my language, extreme bitchy look. And I thought this was an extreme bitchy look. It might look like a crazy animated character, but to me, totally was with the club, and you'd be considered the B word, a bitch. Yes, yeah, so this is the look, and I'm going to recreate it on this eye. Okay, so first step, I applied my um, eyeshadow primer. I used Too Faced Shadow Insurance right here, and um, I'm going to apply a cream eyeshadow, and I'll be using my shirt elf. Dill Eye Cream Shadow in Sugar Cookie, which is just a pink and a yellow, I can kind of see that. Now I'm going to use my finger and just dab it all over my eyelid. Just my eyelid, not all the way up to my brow bone, just on my eyelid. So, we're going to now apply the shadow. I'm just going to close this up. The shadow that I'll be using first is my All the Glitters by Spell um, eyeshadow, and it's just this color right here. It's called Do I Dazzle You? That color, right there can't see it because of the way the container is in my lighting, but it's like basically a hot pink, like fuchsia pink. And I'm going to go in my shadow brush right here. This is my e.l.f. shadow brush, so just get some of that color on there if you can. Get some of your brush right there, top of the excess, and apply just the first half of your lid. Once you go in the first half there, I'm going to go apply the second half of the shadow now. In the second half shadow, I'm going to use a different loose shadow. And this one is Max Fuchsia Pigment. Okay, I'm hopefully not going to put this over my laptop, but that's what it looks like. Max Fuchsia. This is just a sample size that I got. I'm just going to get it off from the lid. This is what I have from the lid. So, I'm going to take it off from the lid. Just use the other side of the brush. You can feel free to wet the brush if you want to, to make it more um, pigmented, but I like the way it looks right now. So, just apply it to the outer half. Angle your brush like that and just sweep it over. So, you can kind of see like. You can't really see it on camera, but this, you see, there it goes. This is the um, Do I Dazzle You, and this is the Mac Fuchsia Pigment. Oop, I forgot to do something. I need to apply some tape, because I want a sharp edge, so I'm just going to apply some tape to the outer of my eye. So, here, and reach to the end of my brow. Do that in the beginning before you do this, sorry. Don't be, make my mistake. Okay, just go with the brush again. And just work it. Just like that. Perfect. Once you get that on there, you can go in with your blending brush and just blend those two colors together, just in the middle, like that. Should blend the two really nicely. And just blend the top part. My tape keeps coming off. It's tape from the dollar store, that's why it's not good quality. Ugh. But any tape will do. No duct tape, though. You don't want to put duct tape on your face. Any kind of scotch tape would be fine. Now, once you got that on there, I'm going to go with my crease brush right here. This is the one I got from Costco, similar to the MAC 222. Just like that. And now I'm going to take a smoky black color. This is a black with like silver um, shimmer in it. So this is my 88 Warm Palette. So I'm just going to go with this first color right here in the corner. Right there. Top up the excess. And now I'm going to make this sharp edge right here that you see in this. So we're going to just apply the brush just around this outer corner. Make that line. As you can see like that, just drag it in. Keep in mind that you want to keep the color mostly on the outer corner. And when you sweep it into your um, inner tear duct area, you want to make it really light. Just fade it inwards. So most of the color is on the outside instead of the inside. So lighter hand when you go in the middle, and then heavier hand as you go outwards. Now go with my blending brush again and blend the top of it. Let's see, that's around even. And then you can take off the tape right now if you want to. And you see that sharp edges? Or that sharp edge, not edges. What am I saying? Okay, I'm just going to close this pigment before I knock it all over my carpet. Okay, so once you got that on there, I'm going to go in the um, crease brush again and apply my highlight. And the highlight color I'll be using is this color right here. So fifth one in and three down. Fifth in, three down. But any highlight that you want to use, go ahead and use that one. Just 
Just apply that to your highlight. Just blend it in with the top of the black to blend that out. And then you want to blend the outer edge here with the exact same color to make the edge not too not too sharp, but just like enough that it's a little bit blurry. Now I'm gonna apply my liner. As you can see, the liner is just like that, crazy liner. And I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Paris Linear Intense in Carbon Black, just a liquid eyeliner. The felt tip looks like that, just a really sharp edge. And now what we're gonna do. Hopefully I can move in enough so you can see this, but, okay. So, just apply a thin line, just to the beginning. Now you want to really drag this out, like, extremely, because they're going for a bitchy look, or a bitchy clubbing look. Just drag that out. Drag it from the outer edge here, like right here, like that, and fill in that triangle. I really hope it's even. But what's awesome about this eyeliner, you can always um, fix it again, just with using like water, because this is not waterproof eyeliner. So let's see if we get it. Bring it up more here. This is so not even. I'm gonna try my best. So that's the eyeliner. That's the best I can make it even. It's really hard if you're doing one eye at a time, but if I set to my head, it looks even almost. Like this side's gonna look funny because it's the side I did. Hmm. Good enough. <laughs> Um, and now I'm going to go in with my, line my waterline, and this one I bought recently, my MAC Feline Coal Power Eyeliner, and seriously, this, I think I found it, the perfect, um, waterproof pencil eyeliner for my waterline. Like, my Urban Decay 24-7 Glider Pencil is bad, I hate it. This one lasts so much longer than my Urban Decay one. So I'm just going to line my waterline. It's so creamy, I love it. You should connect it with the um, top lash line, too. So once you got that on there, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. The mascara that I'll be using is my last bit of my CoverGirl Volume Exact, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've applied my mascara, which is my CoverGirl Volume Exact, and curled my lashes before I did that and applied them. Just one coat. Okay, and what we're going to do now is a blush, and I want to use a bright pink blush, but I don't have a bright pink blush. P currently, the brightest blush I have is my um, NARS um, Orgasm Blush, so I'll be using this blush right here. Don't want to blind you guys. And my new brush, my favorite, I love it. It's dirty because I use it so much. But my MAC 168 is just an angled face brush. So I'm going to take some of that on here, apply it to the apples of my cheeks. So once you got that on there, I'm just going to close this properly and put my cover on it. Okay. Time for the lips. The lips I'll be using is my Essence Cosmetics um, lipstick in Frosted, which is this really, really frosty light pink. Um, I'm not sure what matte color would be similar to this, but just any frosty pink color. Like, this would be a luster in MAC lipstick. <laughs> this is so moisturizing. It smells so good. It smells like vanilla. Kind of gives me a space look, like, good space kind of lips. And the lip gloss I'll be using is my All the Glitters by Spell. Gloss in LLA's Lullaby, right there. Can you see that maybe? Now you get really frosty nude lips. You just take out my bobby pin here, so I'll set my hair down. But this is my extreme clubbing look, the bitchy look for my one of the subscribers. See, so you can see better. Yeah, and I this is the tutorial, and I'm gonna be filming more. Um, be filming an IMAX Toronto update. I'll be filming a review of the CoverGirl Volume Exact and the Benefit Bad Girl Lash right now. So if you see me wear the same makeup, this is why. Okay? So I'll see you guys later. Bye.